Electronic sound pop up. Hello. I have been asked a couple of times, can't you do some tutorials uh, with your Volkas, Core Volkas? And uh, guess what? Uh, the day is finally here. So I've decided now that during March and April I will uh, release a couple of videos where I go through uh, all the Volka units I use and, and what I use them for. Uh, I'm going to start with the, the Volka Bass. Uh, this was the first Volka I ever bought. Uh, it was released by Korg already in 2013 as part of the initial three Volkas. So it was uh, Bass and quite soon afterwards you had the Beats and the Keys. And, and they were at the time a bit of a revolution. Uh, it was the, one of the, the first like small affordable analog synthesizers that were released. The Volka Bass, obviously it's, it's inspired by the Roland uh, TB303. Quite obviously, you can see the, the color setting, chunky knobs. So of course, they have brought some inspiration from this, and, and the sound is also quite similar to the, the Roland TB303. The first thing I did when I acquired this was connect it through a distortion pedal and uh, create that classic um, acid rave techno sound. Uh, and I did a video on that a couple of years ago, and it, it sounded like this. Let's listen to it to remember. <laughs> Yeah, and there you can really hear that classic acid sound. So that was the first thing I did. But there are a lot of other use cases for the Core Volta Bass. So, um, well, let's uh, let's go over to the recording place and, uh, and uh, listen to what it sounds like and what you can use it for. Okay, follow me. Okay, so we'll start with the basics. So first you have some basic settings here using the function button. Uh, Volca Bass has three oscillators, so you can have them uh, separated. So you can have a polyphonic synthesizer. Uh, mode 2, I, I think it's oscillator 1 and 2 is run in unisone and uh, oscillator 3 is separate. And uh, mode 3 is uh, basically a unison mode, so all oscillators are played at the same time. Uh, so basically here uh, you have a mono sound. Uh, here you have... Uh, all, all three oscillators is playing at the same time. You can also select uh, how you want LFO to be played. So for example, if I play a short pattern here, I can assign then the LFO to different targets. I can assign it to, to amplitude, pitch, or to cutoff. Let's listen. And uh, you also can choose different uh, modes for the VCO. You can select a saw wave or a square wave. You can clear, you can clear different sections. You can clear all the slides. You can clear all the active steps. You can clear the part. You can clear everything uh, from the pattern sequencer. Perfect. Then uh, some use cases. What can I use it for? So. First use case, I, I use it a lot as, um, yeah, as a ba bass synthesizer. So usually then I select um, a poly uh, to have a polyphonic mode. Basically, I only want to use one oscillator. I think it gives a cleaner bass sound. So by having this setting, it will sound pretty much like this. I will remove also the LFO. There we go, very basic synth bass sound. Quite boring, but very effective for creating a good groove. So basically in, in dance electronic music, you have a, a number of classic bass lines. Let's try for you. We'll have first the backbeat. Can never go wrong. And then you can have the octa bass. Uh, 
typically you would have the Eurodance rhythm. Yeah, so a large variety of different bass lines you can create. But you have also a really good use case is the, the trans bass synth. And then you should switch to mode uh, 3 hertz to play all velocity groups at the same time. Uh, I would place one uh, pitch in the middle, the other slightly detuned to the right, the other slightly detuned to the left to have the right sound. And then uh, I usually program it like this. Let's see, this is a bit too loud. So I just push all the 16 notes first. Like that, and then just accentuate some. You can actually play chords as well. If I go back to polyphonic mode, uh, clear all. If I go a bit higher up, I can do like this. Let's see here. You can, of course, also use it as a, like a tech house lead kind of synth. Uh, then I would typically also use the unison mode. Something like that, let's go. Okay, so now I've connected some support. So I've connected also Volca Kick, uh, Volca Beats, uh, Volca Keys. Uh, I use uh, the, the Volca Bass to play like a, a trans, uh, Goa trans classic um, synth bass line. Let's see how it sounds. As an extra number now, I will also do uh, acid bass. As I said earlier, um, you can make 
the acid bath, of course, using a distortion. So you run the Volcker bath through distortion. Uh, but you can actually create it by simply overloading it uh, quite a lot. And then max peak, mass this. Crank it even more. Let's see. I will uh, go down to my mixer now. Oh, this is bad for my ears. <laughs> but good to know you can also overload. I recommend to use a distortion pedal instead if you want that classic uh, acid techno sound. So that was it for now. Over to the studio. Uh, thank you. So, but not much more to say here in the studio. Um, can just have some coffee. This is good entertainment watching me drinking coffee. But uh, as I said, not much more to add. Um, stay tuned for uh, next time and then we will keep going through all the vocals. Until then, take care. Bye -bye.